All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Air Park Continued, which is currently being maintained by forum user Gomker. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability to park your vessels by freezing it in place no matter where it is on land, air, or sea. And while frozen, your ship will actually count as landed as this mod sets the velocity and g-forces to zero. This means that you can be in mid-air, freeze your ship, and then come back to the space center only to return to your frozen vessel at a later date and this ability is an extremely important tool as if like me you enjoy building large off-world bases or even small boats here on this world you can easily find your creations destroyed by a loading screen as the sometimes wonky physics of this game think that your base should suddenly be torn apart like this sad sad little ship here that I've named doomed boat as a common problem with boats whether they're modded in or created by stock parts is that when loading the slightest wave movement as physics are being created here can tear them asunder as you see here and that can be a big problem if you've spent a lot of time building an entire fleet only to see it be sadly ripped to shreds by the in-game physics now this mod can thankfully remedy that situation as well when the ship is frozen say for instance on this boat over here if we load it the physics shouldn't affect it because it's frozen apparently it did affect that one singular smokestack there which wobbled which is um kind of unnerving but as you can see the ship itself is perfectly intact and that is a beautiful beautiful thing and it's all thanks to this one little part right here the air park drive which as you can see currently air parked is true and that means this is frozen with a velocity and g-force of zero and it is in place here waiting to be unlocked now that does also mean currently i cannot actually move this ship normally if i started up the engines it wouldn't move a single centimeter i actually have to now unpark the ship which releases it from its frozen state and as you'll notice here when i toggle it there we go our ship starts to bob and weave in the water once again and we can go on our merry way and this is just oh i love this mod as i cannot tell you how many times i've been building say a base on duna only to come back into a loading it to find that one small part somewhere has messed up the physics and the whole base is being ripped to shreds by the loading screen and this mod could have saved all all of those little bases thanks to this one tiny little part so let's actually go back to the space center real quick and jump into the VAB just to quickly take a look at the part itself and see uh, get a better idea basically of how large it is and uh, yeah so we'll grab the mark one command pod here and head down to the science tab which is where we'll find the air park drive which has no other additional stats over here just a basic description and if we grab it and pop it on there and of course zoom in you'll see it's not exactly the most complicated part in the world in fact it looks like just a retextured uh, radial parachute but frankly I'm perfectly okay with that. The retexturing job is pretty decent, and honestly, I couldn't care what this thing looked like as long as it serves its purpose and saves all of my beautiful ships and bases around the solar system. And yeah, that's uh, basically it there. Small little part, not much to it, and as long as you have it attached somewhere on your vessel, you should be fine now it's not just good though for saving bases and ships it can also be very useful with airships so for instance if you have hooligan labs here installed a big problem with these airships is that you eventually have to land again if you want to leave your mission you can't just leave these things floating in the air or can you well thanks to air park continued you can so if we just go to launch 
and actually uh, lift up this balloon. All right, let's bring up the hooligan controls, altitude control on, and let's raise ourselves up a bit. So wait for the animation to go, and come on, come on, start going up into the air, please. A little bit quicker would be appreciated. There we are, excellent, we're finally taking off. And now normally if we wanted to go back to the Space Center, if we hit escape you'd see Space Center is oranged out there and if we clicked it it'd want us to return to our parked state on the ground. But what if we don't want to do that? We'd rather just leave it up in the air. It is a blimp after all. This thing shouldn't have to be landing constantly to leave and do other things. No, instead what you can do is go to our air park drive and toggle it on. Now you'll notice that the ship did slightly jump over to the side and that's because again it is freezing it in place and I believe that that little jump is it snapping itself to a nearby coordinate point. Uh, that's at least my assumption. I, I don't know for sure if that is in fact the case but it will get that small little jarring jump but beyond that well we're here. We are stuck at 88 meters off the ground and we can go back to the Space Center now without having to revert back to our parked on the ground phase. And you'll see there's our blimp perfectly enjoying life and we can just click that, go back to fly it, and we're still at 88 meters. Now because of the nature of this particular balloon it has to reanimate itself into existence. But yeah, we're here back at 88 meters and we'll stay here forever and ever until we right click on this again and toggle. There we are, we're now air parked false and we're back to accelerating by 0.2 meters per second. Now if we actually uh, bring this baby down here so that we are roughly stable, there's of course this other option. Now the air parked true or false will freeze this thing in its current location. But we also have this other option, auto unpark, which again can be toggled on or off. And what this will do is if we toggle air parked on, again, we kind of jump slightly to the other location there when we're frozen at 89 meters. And then if we toggle auto unpark, if we then leave this uh, ship back to the space center, and load up another vessel, once we get within 1.5 kilometers of this blimp, the blimp will automatically unpark itself and go back to being affected by physics in the world. And that is a useful tool. Personally, I actually don't use it that much as uh, in my few days playing with this mod so far, I mainly use this to save my bases and my boats. But if you say have built a large fleet and you have all of them parked so that they don't all get destroyed, once you then uh, sail in your latest ship, once you're within that 1.5 kilometer range, they'll begin to activate themselves. So they'll no longer be parked and they'll just be floating there gently in the water. It's a very useful tool. So of course, we froze this at 89 meters and if we actually go to the launch pad again, I hope it's actually high enough up that it doesn't get uh, destroyed. And we just load up a little commsat here, that should be fine. Launch the vessel. It should unpark our blimp. Oop. Oh god, it did, and it's on the ground now. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess it wasn't quite high enough. I guess being just eight meters up wasn't perfect. Uh, let's actually... Let's, it, it is unparked, though. As you can see, it's been turned back to false. So yeah, I should have had this thing higher up, because during the loading, it must have uh, dropped it down, which is quite... Quite interesting, I hadn't actually seen that before. But the important thing is, is that the air part is now false. So if we had boats out there with that same setting, if we got within the 1.5 kilometer radius, they would also unpark. And that's really all there it is to this mod. I love it, it is absolutely wonderful and such a useful tool. 
not just for building your bases, but also for having crazy, wacky airships. I mean, just uh, think about the possibilities of what you could do with this particular mod, such as with the Hooligan Labs mod, rather than having to park your blimps, you could actually park an aerial base. Actually, you know what? We don't even need this thing turned on. So if we completely collapse the envelope on this thing, so it is not doing anything at all, then we could actually, say, pop it up into the air using Hyper Edit. And if we set to current, and say set it up to uh, 150, and we actually go to land this, now, if we unclick here, I'm going to right click on this first. If we unclick landing, we're gonna start plummeting back down to earth. Now, if I turn this off and just destroy the airship blimp entirely, you'll see we're plummeting down to earth as fast as we can. But if we park, boom, we're stuck here. So imagine building a giant base on Eve with airship parts, so that instead of landing on EVE itself, you land your ship on a platform you've built in the freaking sky. It just offers so many possibilities, and I absolutely love it. Now granted, you could potentially think it's a little bit cheaty because, well, it technically could be a bit if you don't like the idea of, say, having this thing floating right here in space forever and ever, but if you don't mind that for aesthetic purposes because you do want to build that giant floating base on EVE, or if you like building fleets of warships on the water and hate when the physics makes them go bye bye or, of course, if, like me, you are just sick of seeing your bases destroyed by one tiny, wonky little move in the physics, then definitely, definitely go check out this mod. You can find the link in the description. Go have fun with it, enjoy, and, of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, my friends, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. Now let's just uh, toggle this thing back off and let it plummet back down to earth. Uh, bye bye, Doran Kerman. Bye bye. And bye bye to you folks. Later. <laughs>